This episode of the Sports Box is brought to you by Miked Up Entertainment and DJ Mike Velarde. For all of your event planning needs, make sure you contact Mike at 609-864-5925 and tell him that you saw him on the Sports Box. And on the air, good evening everyone and welcome to the show that, oh, man, this is a damn good show. This is the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Aletta, a.k.a. Hemp Mike, along with my partner, Brian, the Ranger Tart. Brian, how are you today? You know, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't see you throw anything today, so yeah. I'm not afraid for my well-being. Yeah. I'm in a better mood as a result. Yep, the psychiatric hospital is working. Uh, today we are going to get you filled in on the new news and the hot news out there in the NFL about uh, San Diego Chargers first round pick. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, San oh, Diego. I'm sorry. Out Los Angeles Chargers. They're, Thank you. That's not, why Brian's here. They're, they're not working. See, they're not working. That's right. They're not working. Memory pills. Right. The Los Angeles Chargers first round pick. That would be Mike Williams, wide receiver. And on the line, we have the guy who not only sunbathes out there and kicking ass selling houses is our Chargers affiliate. Leo Rodriguez. Leo, how are you, my friend? Good, good. Good to hear from you guys. And just to let you know, if you need any houses out in the San Diego area, Leo's your man. Anyway, let's get to it right now, Leo. What is going on out in California with the Chargers and Mike Williams? What are you hearing out there? So, Mike Williams appears to have a herniated disc on his back. Um, he was about, he had one evaluation from the medical staff, and they suggested that the best action for him was going to be to have season-ending surgery. However, um, there is a second report that actually just came out this morning, I believe, and that was just kind of letting the public know that you know he also received an epidural and that he is progressing well with that epidural. So there's a small chance that perhaps he won't have to sit out the entire season, but you know, just kind of from the news that we're gathering, it really seems like this is leaning towards a kind of season-ending. Injury. You know, Leo, you, you talk about guys that you know might redshirt their their first season, and this this might be a situation where you know it is what it is. He might have to miss the year. The, the Chargers were not exactly hurting for passing offense last year, even though they missed Keenan Allen for most of the season. Uh, they had a thousand yard receiver in Tyrell Williams. Dontrell Inman came close. Travis Benjamin was did, did well as well. Really, both tight ends were about five hundred yards. So it isn't as if they are desperately going to miss him, but. If you were the make, one making the call here, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're not really going to contend this year for a championship. Is it really worth risking further injury to Mike Williams to rush him out there if he's not ready? I don't think he's worth risking it, especially when you're talking about a back injury. I mean, I'm sure you've thrown out your back once or twice in your life, and I mean, you know how serious of an injury that could be. So if, if it were up to me, I would say just shut him down. Um, I, I would have been calling the play to keep him in the draft, but as you're saying, we were pretty pretty stacked there already. I mean, we have great tight ends, a pretty solid receiving core, and you know, it, it, was, it wasn't a necessity in my opinion. And now, I mean, it's still not a necessity. So yeah, we can shut them down. Is what I would do if I were the one running the team. I think it's a tough move for the Chargers right now because I think you made that move knowing that you're making your quarterback, who's been there a long time, and give you giving you loyalty, you're making him happy with this move, and in the same sense you don't want to risk it, you're taking him out of the lineup and you're going back to square one again. I think the Chargers had some other needs besides receiver, but I think that was the main sticking point, so I think it's going to be tough for the Chargers organization to just say, you know what, let's shut him down, let's maybe try some other alternatives, but like you said, Leo, a back injury for a wide receiver is a bad injury. One hit and he could be gone for his career. Yep. Absolutely, yeah, and that's kind of the scary thing, and I agree with you. I mean, uh, Rivers has only a couple of years left, so I mean, I, as a fan, I, I was very excited to see what adding Mike Williams would have done to our offense. I think it would have made us an even more prolific pass attack, but that seems like that's not really on the table. And you know, this kind of this injury curse or bug, whatever you want to call it, seems to kind of continue to play the Chargers. I guess we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, we will see how it plays out. We'll keep you informed if anything does break into Mike Williams. Saga, we will bring it to you live. Well, not live, but we will bring it to maybe. you. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We might bring it to we'll you see live. see how important it is. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But first and foremost, if that does happen, we will go back out to Leo Rodriguez out in the California area, and he will give us the update on that. Uh, Leo, is that good for you? Um, yeah, yeah, I got no other updates here, Mike. All right, absolutely. We appreciate Leo you get, right. getting on helping us out. And remember, at the Sports Box... You can always guess on social media if you need to. Twitter and Facebook, you know it, at Sportsbox Show. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you to Leo for getting on again.
Go Chargers. And remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here. Thanks for watching. See you. One, two, three. Don't forget to subscribe.